that pull them back together are the adductors. Okay, adduction. The palmar adductors, I call them pads. The palmar interosseous muscles are palmar adductors. They bring your fingers back together. Now your thumb one doesn't count because that's the pollicis, right? Adductor, adductor pollicis, adductor pollicis. So these fingers coming back together, that's adduction. So you need one for that finger, one for that finger, and one for that finger. You only have three palmar interosseous muscles because they're palmar adductors. On the back, you have the dorsal interosseous muscles, and I call them dabs, dorsal abductors. They do that. But that one doesn't count because you have the abductor digiti minimi. So that pinky one is out. So you only have three fingers, so you must only have two muscles, right? No, you have four. One for that one, one for that one. And then anywhere that the middle finger moves is out on the midline. So they're both abduction. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you have four. One for that finger, one for that forefinger, and two for that finger. Everybody with me? That's it. That's everything. Everything on the back of the arm? Radial. Everything here? Muscular cutaneous. Here, two of them are ulnar, the rest, I don't know, median. Here, one half loaf median, the rest, I don't know, ulnar. <laughs> See how easy that is? <laughs> and you just learn all the nerves to the whole arm. That's it. Now, on the back of the arm, okay? Do you want to learn those 12 or you want to have that be next time? Or? Oh, next time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, Okay, so here's my answer. On the back of the arm, there's how many muscles? Twelve, okay, because there's 20 in the forearm, eight on the front, 12 in the back. Okay, back here, instead of being four minus one equals three, they are six and six. Six superficial, six deep. All right? The six superficial are so easy. It's like counting, okay? And all you do is one, Two, three, four, five, six. That's how easy it is. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you count with me? So, one. This is where the brachioradialis from the extensor side, so from the lateral epicondyle, comes over and grabs the uh, radius and causes it to go the other way. It causes supination. But more powerfully is that once it's pronated, once your wrist is pronated, it causes flexion of the elbow. So that when your hand turns over, and I showed you how this turns off, when you turn your hand that away, this turns on. So the guy's doing like reverse grip curls, it's all brachial radialis. When the hand is supinated, it's all biceps brachialis. When your hand is pronated, it's all brachial radialis, causing elbow flexion. Okay, along with brachialis. Does that make sense? So one, brachial radialis. Two, Extensor carpi, radialis longus and brevis. Okay, so I hold up two fingers. Two, because there's two of them. Extensor carpi, radialis longus, and extensor carpi, radialis brevis. Okay? They run down, they do not go to my two fingers. Right? Because they're extensor carpi, they go to my wrist bones. And cause me to just do extension of my wrist. And maybe some radial deviation. Okay? Extensor carpi, radialis longus, and brevis. By the way, these are the order that they go around your wrist. So when you find them, you'll be able to do this. One, two, three. The next one is four. I put out all four fingers because it's extensor digitorum. It goes to all four fingers. Not complicated, not a deep and a superficial like the other side. Just extensor digitorum. All four fingers causes extension. Five. Stick out your pinky finger. Five, extensor digiti minimum. So easy, right? Just causes extension to then the last one is five. We did that had extensor carpi radialis, so we must have extensor carpi ulnaris. Causes extension of the wrist and ulnar deviation. You good with that? The next six are the order they run down your arm. Okay? They are Anconius, the supinator, the snuff box, <laughs> and the extensor indices. Okay? So, Anconius, little triangular muscle on the lateral side. Okay, it's right there. And it causes actually extension of the elbow. It's the forearm muscle that causes extension of the elbow. The next, the supinator, <laughs> right? Which causes supination. And it's actually just exactly opposite the pronator teres.
the pronator teres pulls this way, the supinator pulls the other way. Literally on opposite sides of the radius. And you'll be able to find that. When one runs out, the pronator teres actually, I think, sticks out farther, and the supinator is closer. But they literally have to reach around like this so that one pulls and then the other one pulls, right? So, the supinator. The last one, snuff box. There's three muscles in the anatomical snuff box. You guys learned that, right? The snuff box. Now the two on the bottom are extensor uh, brevis. It's a brevis sandwich. It's the best way to learn it. Okay? It's a brevis sandwich. The adductor longus, right? So, sorry, the abductor uh, pollicis longus causes abduction. What's that? That's extension. This, outside the plane of the hand, is abduction. Okay? If you make a C, it's abduction. If you make an, a gun, bang, bang, that's flexion and extension. But if you take it out of the plane of the hand, okay, make a puppet, that's abduction and adduction. Does that make sense? So, abductor pollicis longus is the first one on the bottom. The next one is the adductor pollicis brevis, which causes, sorry, extensor pollicis brevis, sorry. Extensor pollicis brevis, which does not go to the tip, so it only causes that. The top of the snuff box is the extensor pollicis longus, does that, just the tip. Okay, because in your thumb you only got two bones, one, two, not three, like that. Okay, so extensor pollicis, uh, extensor pollicis, sorry, it's abductor pollicis longus, then it's a brevis sandwich, so the brevis is in the middle, the uh, extensor pollicis brevis, then on the top of the snuff box, extensor pollicis longus. There's only one left, extensor indicis. Okay, so if you go look on your, your, um, models now, or look on your, your, your um, dissections, the way that they go around the arm is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's brachioradialis, extensor carpa radialis longus and brevis, then extensor digitorum, extensor digitite minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris. They're in order going right around the wrist like that. Then when you pull those out of the way, the way that they go down is anconius, supinator, the snuff box, which will be in that order, extensor Longus, I'm oh, sorry, abductor longus, extensor brevis, and extensor longus, and then extensor indices. And that's all of them. That's all 20 muscles of the forearm, that's all the muscles of the hand, and that's innervation, all of it. 30 minutes or less. Mm -hmm. Questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it.